Hi, good evening, everyone. Let us look at the question for the day. For the production function given to you, derive the cost function when W1, W2 are 1, 1 and Y is given to you as, let us have a look at this question. What can I do with this question? I want to go ahead and I want to derive the cost function. What is my cost function? My cost function can be written as W1, X1 plus w2 x2 let's form a lagrange out of it so my lagrange will be to minimize w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus i want to produce one given level of output what is that level of output i want to go ahead and produce i want to produce the output of two so this is equal to two right this is my constraint that my output level is two so plus lambda two minus ln x1 plus 1 minus ln x2 plus 1, right? Let us differentiate this with respect to x1. What will I get? w1 plus lambda minus 1 by x1 plus 1 equal to 0, right? So, which means I will get w1 is equal to lambda upon x1 plus 1. Let us differentiate the Lagrange with respect to x2. What will I get? I will get w2 minus lambda 1 upon x2 plus 1 equal to 0. So I will get w2 is equal to lambda upon x2 plus 1. Let's differentiate this with respect to lambda. Not even required, but we know what, we'll, what we will get. But let's do that. We will get 2 minus ln x1 plus 1 minus ln x2 plus 1 is equal to 0. So, <clears throat> so if I go ahead and I divide equation 1 by equation 2, what will I get? I will get w1 by w2 is equal to x2 plus x1 divided by, please divide and see x1 plus 1. So when you will divide equation 1 by 2, you, you are dividing this by this, right? And you have to notice that because this is coming in the denominator, it will reciprocate itself, right? So you're going to go ahead and have w1 by w2 is equal to x2 plus x1, uh, x2 plus 1 by x1 plus 1, right? Now, now what this means for you is that x1, so we can solve for x2 from here. So you will get x2 plus 1 is equal to x1 plus 1 into w1 by w2, right? So from here, what will I have? I will have the value of x2 plus 1 as this. Now go back to your production function once. What was your production function? It said 2 is equal to ln x1 plus 1 plus ln x2 plus 1. This is what your production function is. We know the value of x2 plus 1. We know the value of x2 plus 1 from here, right? So just plug in that. So ln uh, x1 plus 1 plus ln. Instead of x2 plus 1, let's write this down. x1 plus 1 into w1 by w2. Right, let's solve this out. So ln m n can be used. So ln x1 plus 1 plus ln x1 plus 1 plus ln w1 by w2. So this is going to be 2 ln x1 plus 1 plus ln w1 by w2. This is 2. Right, so, so we know 
that acha we know that w1 and w2 are also given to me right w1 and w2 are also given to me and w1 and w2 are given to me as 1 1 right so i will simply have this as ln 1 right so what do i have i have 2 is equal to 2 ln x1 plus 1 plus ln 1 isn't it this is what i have got from here so therefore i have 2 ln x1 plus 1 is equal to 2 minus ln 1 and from here this is going to be 2 minus ln 1 by 2 this is what you will get now here is the thing if i am able to find the value of x1 and the value of x2 ln 1 is 0 i will just put that here if i am able to find the value of x1 and x2 i know w1 and w2 i can put these back into my cost function and get my cost function so this is going to be 2 minus 0 by 2 which will be 1 so i've got ln x1 plus 1 is 1 i can raise it to the power e so i will get x1 plus 1 as e and x1 is equal to e minus 1 right now i know what x1 is can i find the value of x2 i can so so w1 and w2 are given to me as 1 so from here i know that x2 plus 1 is actually equal to x1 plus 1 which means x2 is equal to x1 so from here i know that x2 is also e minus 1 so what is your cost function w1 x1 plus w2 x2 this is your cost function so this will be 1 into x e minus 1 plus 1 into e minus 1 so this will be 2 e minus 1 so the answer to this question is 2 e minus 1 i think i should have written this a little better so 2 times e minus 1 this is my answer to this question so which means the correct answer to this question is b right okay now what i want you to go ahead and do is the following once you have you found out the cost function right i want you to go ahead and tell me in the comment section below that what is the difference between constrained and unconstrained input demand and whether the main part whether this input demand that i found out if this is constrained or unconstrained so you have to tell us the input demand that i found out whether this is unconstrained or constrained input demand okay okay thank you we'll meet tomorrow